Hey people, Positive Paul, and here we are on Saturday, May 18th, 2024, and I got my phone back. It's not working 100%, but this will be my first trial run with a video that I wanted to do back in April. So it's been almost a month, and this video and the future videos I'm going to do for the one reason is that there's someone in Texas that I want to make sure they see this information and it's important to probably every American God-fearing American and it's very very sad to see the condition of social media the groups, individuals that participate, because according to my studies, and I've done videos on this, if you took the population of the United States, just for argument's sake, say 340 million people, divide that by two, we just say that half of them are under 18 children, they don't know much. They um, essentially are, are brainwashed through various methods that emanate from Hollywood and other sources. But the other half, they, they, they maybe understand how the world operates, keeping things in a post-World War II perspective, but yet to face the realities, the horrors of what some of these individuals and groups that present themselves as um, righteous, God-fearing people who are concerned about the truth being always, always in the forefront, never trying to to say politely, try to um, confuse, mislead, disinform the American population about what their true intentions are, and, and more importantly, they, they always seem like they've got a handle on things. They're in control. Now, the one thing they can't control is Jacob, and the only really way they can deal with this issue and this has been historically from the beginning of when this all started is to surreptitiously eliminate remove resistance to to what what some of their behavioral patterns are how how they how they get their rocks off and it's very, very interesting to live through this and know that uh, we're, we're, we're almost at the home stretch. You could definitely see they're, they're worried on a daily basis. You know, they've got their big brother in place. Um, these institutions that they control, they have spread their tentacles far and wide throughout the world. Uh, I'm in here in Mexico, you know. Uh, nothing wrong with the Mexican people. They've been left behind. So uh, they're, they're very easily manipulated, you know, when, when you've been left poor, tired, hungry, unable to defend yourself. You know, you, you're going to pretty much toe the line. And, you know, what we try to do is educate people. So uh, enough of my rambling. I want to quickly... This is something I addressed already concerning the Tucker Carlson interview, but it's the technology. Or the other option is the, 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 whatever these creatures are, all right, they found a way to blend in with humans. And we, we get little glimpses in Scripture, even in the Old Testament, but, but moving into the book of Jude, it really, you know, it spells it out for anybody that would 
earnestly study Jude, we know at the end about the garment spotted by the flesh. Now, none of us are qualified to definitively, concisely define what this is, but it's a technology. We know that. It has flaws, though. And this has to do with the electromagnetic spectrum and light. The, 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 the spectrum that light emanates from seems to expose some of these flaws. And they're constantly trying to correct it and make excuses when uh, the few of us left try to point them out. Now, the garment spotted by the flesh, you can see clearly on Putin's lip where things don't look right. These little splotchy white dots. And it could even be worse. It could totally... I, you've, you've seen this. I've pointed it out on these social media frauds. The ones that uh, pretend to be me, use my information. They, they Look, they can't keep it together. So what happens is... the. The individual understands when things are going haywire. It's something they feel or detect within the technology. And this has to do when they're essentially lying, these lazy lying lizards. So we always know that what they do is they have to cover the area where they feel it going haywire. And, you know, the thing with the slit eye, too, that... I, I think, you know, there, there could be a serious debate on this, but the way these, um, well, I guess shapeshifter ninnies, I don't know what to call them anymore. All of them are almost gone. They, they want to tell you that everybody with the slit eye, I guess, is a reptilian. And maybe, um, you know, if that's the case, boy, if you put them under examination, right? If they weren't little weaselly cowards and you would show their face on social media to be put under the spotlight, right? Put them under a microscope, but they won't do that. And so it's easy to point the social media fraud out. And then remember, they have a shelf life, just like the Community Watch snitch. Everybody's got a shelf life. Once you get involved with these Satanists, all right, you're on a short leash. Yes, you might benefit in the short term, but uh, once you become a liability, uh, well, you know, things could start going bump in the night. You might go out of your house one day to, to get some food, to stuff your face, and you might have an accident. Things do happen out there. But I want to quickly look at, at this. This, this is a, a, a singer, right, per, a musician, and it uh, doesn't matter who he is, but this clip I found is from the mid-1970s, and this is what the garment spotted by the flesh looks like when it's going super haywire. And remember on Putin's lips, the little white dots, okay? And where we see this effect, it predominantly exists on the individuals that present themselves as educated people. And they can all tell us, uh, you know, how to fix the world's problems. And they'll, they'll, they'll be the mouthpieces of their dark masters, but they can also mesmerize you with their enchantments. They're the charmers, right? They'll sing you a nice, pretty, soft tune, get you all wound up and thinking, wow. And, you know, next thing you know, you, you know, the, the Lilliputians will roll out the red carpet for these types. But there you go. I wanted to use that example. And now, more importantly, I want to look at the second to last flyover before my phone was almost destroyed. And what we're going to examine is these alien insectoids that go hand in hand 
in tandem with these American Nazi Satanist perp planes that have been hanging around me for almost nine years. And again, you know, if this all boils down to some type of surveillance, you know, uh, concerning an investigation, who does almost a nine-year investigation and, and have no results, nothing, creating phony uh, files, documents, because they have to have something to, to, to show, right? But again, you know, who, who, who does an ongoing investigation? Never to question anybody. Now, if people are familiar with how uh, the law works, the justice system, let's say a crime had been committed. One of the first things you do when you open up an investigation, an investigator will be assigned a case and see that there, there will be a victim of the crime and they become the first witness. And what they do is they, they figure out what, what happened and then they start to piece together on how it happened, who perpetrated the crime, and then they look for the um, supposed uh, instigator of the crime, and they would question him or her. Now, you know, in my case, all right, uh, I'm coming at this angle. I got these implants. I got these implants in me that they got to keep covered up. This all relates to my satanic ritual abuse. If you're in my age group or older and you're put through satanic ritual abuse, uh, in the 50s, 60s, moving forward, at bare minimum, you'll have tracking implants placed in your teeth. And uh, it, it's a sad situation that I don't know how they, they keep us all apart. But again, an a ongoing investigation where these investigators won't even dare come near me. And so they have to create this Mickey Mouse Community Watch snitch network where people have to be paid, given, uh, take bribes, be given uh, material things in order for their uh, participation and, and make sure that they stay compliant. Because remember, the Satanists always profile the individual before they get involved with them. They don't want somebody that might maybe have uh, moral, ethical boundaries. And then, you know, when it comes to these Satanists trying to get these people to do their dirty work, they don't want someone that's going to question them. And that will, one, during the profiling process, uh, that's, that's something that, that takes place. And if you ask too many questions, that will easily disqualify you from being a snitch. So these alien insectoids with these flyovers... These are the screen captures from the video I'm about to show you. And these resets with these implants. Now, in this short clip right here, let's, let's slowly go back to the beginning. And I'm going to try to wrap it up real quick. There's the perp plane. All right. And right there, you see how th these things are interdimensional in nature. If a bug, a bird, they would stay right in the frame. They, they wouldn't just zip in and out. So you, you clearly can see that. And in this, this case, what was I doing? See right here too. What was I doing? Uh, w one of the people that helped me uh, on time from time to time lets me clean up his yard. I was picking weeds, right? And uh, you know, I had a shovel. I was just picking at the weeds, getting them up. And then the next thing you know, you never know when they show up or what sets them off. But look, look at this. The energy imprint right there. Now, watch. See where it's there and it's not there, all right? And it just, look, it gets worse from there. So, my friends, I wanted to quickly offer this up right quick for the certain someone 
that has been helping me and my promise to them is I will never disappear on them. I will be here until the bitter end and defend the God-fearing people of the world. Try to spread the gospel the best I can. Uh, I don't, you know, it's always a work in progress, a learning a, a situation where every day you can learn something new if you seek the Word of God. But remember, there's, there's a, in Hebrews, or uh, I'm sorry, Malachi, end of the Old Testament, there is a book of remembrance. And merely by thinking of the Lord, you will be put in that book of remembrance. But remember, when the calling of the Gentiles were, were put out, they that sought me not will be found of me. And if you seek the Lord and you seek truth, do not follow evil, your salvation will be nigh because we're coming in to this supposed great global reset. Why do you think these sad sack Satanists have all their little games in place that they got control of this situation. They don't, folks. So get on your knees, seek the Lord, and please be kind to your friends, family, and neighbors because you never know the day may came, come when you all need to get together and be all in one accord for our Father, His Son, only begotten Son, and plead the blood of Jesus to save you in your time of trouble. Thank you.